The Lucas Nuller company has developed an innovative training system, the so-called Industrial Mechatronics System, or IMS for short. It gets soon-to-be technicians and engineers up to scratch for the job faster and better than any other system ever developed. During the training, a block is assembled. First, the subsection is lowered onto the workpiece carrier. Then, it is transported on the conveyor belt to the next subsystem. This is where the cover is placed on top of it. The last operation entails the fitting of a bolt. In this way, the IMS can be used to simulate and practice the work involved in putting a production plant into operation. Frank Broad is a senior engineer at the company Lenza. He is responsible for hiring young engineers and technicians. Aus meiner Sicht fehlen heute Studenten und Berufsschülern Praxisanteile in der Ausbildung, die darauf abzielen, dass diese Berufsgruppen lernen, komplexe Produktionsabläufe zu verstehen und daraus die entsprechenden Software und Diagnosemöglichkeiten entwickeln. The new IMS training system combines theoretical knowledge with practical training content. It offers the possibility of integrating industrial standards as they exist in the real world into the classroom. Also bei uns in den Ingenieurwissenschaften ist es so, dass es sinnvoll ist, das anzuwenden, was man in der Vorlesung gehört hat. Und ich denke, das ist ein wesentlicher Beitrag dazu. Das kann man hier tun. When learning the basics necessary for a complex production plant, the Unitrain I software package is essential. The content is conveyed on the computer using state-of-the-art computer graphics. The software is simultaneously used to program the production plant. The students can decide for themselves just how fast to proceed. But one thing is for sure, initial learning success is immediate. For that reason, the IMS system enjoys a very wide range of application. It can benefit vocational colleges and universities equally. Small groups can get to know the plant by becoming familiar with the various subsystems and units. Subsequently, the entire class are able to put the complete IMS production plant into operation. The multimedia training courses featuring the industrial mechatronic system originate from the Unitrain I family. They belong to the blended learning solution from Lucas Nuller. The software accompanies you step by step through the basics of the system and how to operate it. When working through the training content on their own, users are given ample assistance as the text, graphics and animations in these courses are all designed especially for easy learning. Tests at the end of each chapter provide information on the progress level and needs of each student. This allows everyone to learn at their own speed. At the Leopold Hirsch Vocational College in Dortmund, students are being instructed using the IMS system. Michael Lorf is a teacher and integrates IMS into his instruction. Das System gibt Anreiz und zwar gibt das System deswegen einen hohen Anreiz, weil Schüler Anlagen selbst kreieren können. In simulierten Anlagen äh, kann man normalerweise wenig verändern und es gehen Lämpchen an und aus. Hier bei uns bewegt sich was und das macht den Schülern so einen großen Spaß, dass sie äh, fast von selbst diese Projekte durchführen. And the students at the Leopold Hirsch Vocational College also like conventional instruction with the industrial mechatronic system. Also das Arbeiten mit der Anlage, die wir hier in der Schule zur Verfügung haben, ähm, finde ich sehr gut. Das macht Spaß und ich denke, dass man dadurch äh, sehr viele Möglichkeiten hat, das äh, Arbeiten mit einer SPS-Anlage zu erlernen, Fehler zu analysieren und äh, ich glaube, dass es das gut auf das spätere Berufsleben vorbereitet. For the experiments, a specially designed experiment card is used. Even the programming and control operations of the subsystems are performed using the Unitrain I software and experiment cards. The Siemens Simatic S7 is used for the control functions of the production line. This component is frequently found in industrial applications 
and is thus ideal for getting students ready for their careers in the field later on. By doing preliminary work with the Unitrain I system, users can also master the programming tasks of the Siemens Simatic S7. Combining theory with practice. This is precisely what Lucas Nuller was focusing on in the development of the industrial mechatronic system. The IMS forms a small-scale production line and the components correspond to industry standards. For that reason, the IMS is ideal preparation for work in the real world later on. The IMS offers the possibility to practice and learn hands-on how to put an automation system into operation. Die Einzelteile des IMS sind Industriestandard Komponenten und die sind per Definition praxisnah. Das IMS besteht aus überschaubaren oder auch komplexeren realitätsnahen Teilanlagen. Die Zusammenschaltung zu einer gesamten Produktionsanlage ist ebenfalls sehr realitätsnah. Innerhalb des IMS kommt das gesamte Methodenspektrum der Automatisierungstechnik zum Einsatz. Das Ganze ist als sehr praxisnah zu bezeichnen. An additional advantage of this system is its flexibility. The IMS offers you the opportunity to build up a complete production line, but you can also just focus on the subsystems individually. Each subsystem forms a single, fully functioning standalone unit and helps convey special training material. For that reason, it is possible to practice on one subsystem or on a whole series of subsystems. Dadurch ist das System im Unterricht sehr schnell einsetzbar, weil keine dieser Komponenten irgendwie verschraubt oder sonst irgendwas gemacht werden muss. Also alle Verbindungselemente sind gesteckt und können deswegen schnell auf- und wieder abgebaut werden, was sehr praxisgerecht ist für den Unterricht in Schulen. In this way, component selection can be geared to the instruction material and the prior knowledge levels of the students. The subsystems can be combined at will. After working in small teams on the individual elements, the whole class can put the entire system together as a group activity. The subsystems then only have to be fitted together. The precision fitting and stable furniture make this step easy. A production line put together in this way can consist of anywhere from three to eight subsystems. There is no problem supplementing or expanding the system at any time. Every subsystem conveys different training information and skills. The IMS5 focuses on the workpiece in which a bolt is inserted. First, the system must be put into operation. To do this, you first have to mount, adjust and test pneumatically operated cylinders and valves. The students then have to program the workpiece identification and the work step monitoring into the system. An additional subject of training for this system is the defining of the process sequence for simple workpiece processing. Finally, the production process sequence must be programmed in manual and automatic operation mode. The IMS-8 is a storage station for workpieces and has a handling mechanism. This mechanism transports the workpieces to their storage location. Again, with this subsystem, the system is first put into operation. This requires the pneumatically operated cylinder and valves to first be adjusted and tested. Then, the process sequence of a high-level rack must be defined. The rack levels must be positioned using sensors. Finally, a sequence of steps and the entire storage process have to be programmed in manual and automatic operation mode. It is the aim of the IMS-8 to classify the workpieces according to colour and material. To do this, the information from IMS-6 testing has to be at hand. The subsystem IMS-11 covers robot control disassembly. Here, the workpieces are conveyed to the disassembly station and disassembled.
Then, the workpieces are allocated to the magazine locations. The Kawasaki robot corresponds to modern industrial standards and design. Robot programming is possible with various applications, for example, using the software included via a laptop.